If you want to hear three major tips that you need when you're grocery shopping on plan, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I'm Alicia and we already know I'm on the Tivia 5-in-1 plan. And what I do is I give tips for healthy living and keeping you guys on plan. But before we even get started, I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to all the people who are starting this week and who have put comments and showed me so much love. I really do appreciate it. And I really want to help you along this journey. So what I want to do now is a question that I find I get from my clients a lot. And it's, how do I grocery shop, okay? What I'm also gonna do is kind of show you guys different things that we already have that we keep in our grocery list, kind of broken down into proteins, vegetables, and condiments and healthy fats. In between that, I'm gonna give you tips that could kind of make your grocery shopping experience just a little bit easier. Now, the first thing I would wanna say is set a plan. I know you hear it all the time, but I don't just mean any plan. So literally what I do is, I'll show it on the screen here, but I take a notebook or I go in my iPad and I kind of write down the meals. Like let's say I know this week I want to eat fish and green beans. I possibly want to do chicken and mushrooms. I want to do broccoli and cauliflower rice. What I do is I go ahead and kind of put an idea of the meals we're going to eat for the week. And I'm not saying it has to be like exact, but you don't want to go to the grocery store and overbuy. So you need to set a plan so that you know what you're going to get. Even if this is your first week on the plan, what I would suggest you do is come up with four, maybe three meals that you like. Because let's be real, some of us aren't used to eating three servings of vegetables. I know what I have to get used to that. So pick vegetables. Say in your head, okay, I want green beans. My husband, you already know, loves these green beans, okay? So always make sure we buy the bigger cans. And we kind of have it down to a science. We know how many servings these are because he'll cook a whole can like this and we know that it could possibly do for two three servings he'll eat just green beans i mean i like other stuff but he's really into the green beans so my first tip is set a plan okay tip number two you want to eat right before you go okay the last thing you want to have happen is you don't want to be super hungry right before you go grocery shopping because it kind of tends to put you in a mode where you want to pick up everything in all honesty what i would say is do a grocery pickup. So I guess tip number two would be do a grocery pickup so that you don't have to go in. But if you want to go in and browse around the store, you know, what I would say is make sure you eat before you go, okay? So then within there, let me just kind of give you a few of the vegetables that we have all the time. Like I've already mentioned the green beans because that's one that we have all the time. I love cucumbers. So what I do is my husband gets mad. Sometimes I forget to cut them up, but I find when I cut up the cucumbers, I'm less likely to just leave them sitting in the fridge and like molding up because you know, now we're having fresh vegetables. They don't last as long. So I always have vegetables on hand. We always have green beans. Another thing we always have is shredded lettuce. I've told you guys several times, I don't really like the romaine lettuce. Call me crazy. I mean, I eat it every now and then, but I, I kind of just like the taste of the iceberg lettuce. So I buy that most often, but those vegetables right there, we have all the time. Other vegetables we have all the time are these, um, I get the packets, sorry, it's all like squished up because it was in the freezer, but um, I get the packets of the broccoli where you could steam them because I find that it's really easy to kind of just steam those vegetables. So I buy the broccoli packets. We also get the uh, cauliflower packs, the cauliflower rice, because what I do is I steam this bag because I don't like the taste of it just out the bag. So I steam the bag, sorry. And then once I steam the bag, I measure it because you have to measure your vegetables cooked. Remember that. So once I measure my vegetables cooked, I then like to measure each one separate. So I'll measure like maybe two servings of cauliflower and a serving of mushrooms, right? And then what I'll do is I'll measure my meat separately. And like I've seen, you probably could go back and watch one of my other videos. Then I kind of throw it all in a pot. But having these on hand, these little packets are like 84 cents at the store. Having those on hand 
is really good. So that covers it kind of for our vegetables, I guess you would say. That's pretty much the vegetables that we eat. There's other stuff, but those are the main ones. Tip number three, you need to have stuff for the kiddos. And you wanna make sure when you're shopping for yourself that when you come home, you're not cooking rice every single day. So little things that we do is one, I buy plenty of fruit. My daughter loves peaches, she loves the grapes. And what I do is I package them in little packets. So whenever she asks me for a snack, she can also grab a healthier snack as well. I'm not the only one eating healthier because it's kind of hard when you're eating healthy and you're giving your kids like McDonald's. So what you wanna do is you wanna have as many things for your kids. Like I also have these chicken nuggets that I air fry. I've said it before, I air fry all the time. Even if it's french fries, I get the package of chicken nuggets, french fries. I do like sometimes pizza rolls. And I know a lot of that stuff isn't great for them, but as long as you're, depending on what you were already cooking, I feel like you can give them something else where they still feel like they're not on a diet, but you're still not going out and giving them other foods. And then honestly, two days out of the week, no matter what, my daughter will eat whatever we eat. I just find that you're not gonna hurt your kid if they're eating the healthy things that you are eating. It's very important to introduce that to them as well because I know if I'm on plan and I have to go in a drive through line for my kids because they want a different food, it's just gonna make your journey much harder. So yes, I would make sure that I have little things for the kiddos that you can air fry. So that would be my tip number three. So those are my major tips. Okay, so I just wanna go over some other stuff since we're talking about grocery shopping that I have as far as meats. So let me pull out my little chart. So as we, we all know, I have my little chart in the kitchen. I keep it in the kitchen all the time. It's in our top drawer. And this is kind of where you start to, in this little booklet, you have the three categories like you tell everyone. There's the leanest, leaner, and lean, okay? So before you even meal, prep any meal, what you wanna do is pick a meat. You have to pick a meat from here, and the meat from here will kind of get you started into what you wanna do. If you're gonna eat fish or you like tuna, then you're gonna eat from this category, and then you're gonna have two healthy fats. If you like chicken, like I said, I like to get the grilled chicken and stuff, and I'll show you a bunch of the different proteins that I have. You're gonna eat from the second category. But then if you're like, you know, you want more of the um, red meats and something, you're gonna eat from this last category, which is not, you can't have any healthy fats, okay? So just to give you guys that, when I'm explaining the protein we have, we get chicken all the time. I used to get the Tyson's chicken, but my husband said they had a recall on the chicken. I don't know. I don't watch the news that much. Call me crazy, but anyway. So this is the grill strips, and this is a new brand I found, and I found that it has a lot more in it. It's foster forms. I don't know, but when you go and find these easy to warm ones, we also get like, you know, we buy like the packets of chicken, but it's overwhelming sometimes when you have a hard day at work and you get off of work and you have to cut up chicken, grill it, and all of that. If you you always want to have something like this because you don't want any excuse why you can't make the right meal on plant if you're not prepared. This takes, I mean, you could warm this for like two to three minutes and it's ready to go. So you want to make sure, I like to have these. Another protein that we have all the time is um, the turkey meatballs. You want to make sure though, wherever your store is, you try to find the leanest turkey meatballs because that'll depend which category it's in because it's same thing with turkey burgers. I said do Walmart grocery, but you know how Walmart grocery likes to substitute things? Well, unfortunately, I asked for the leanest, the 93% or 98, and they didn't have it and they substituted with the 70%, which you gotta be careful because if you have the 70%, that means you have to look up your healthy fats because you won't be able to have a healthy fat. But as far as protein, we always have those. And another thing we always have, sorry if I'm rambling, I just wanna give you guys all this info, but one thing we always have, turkey. We always have turkey and we have the fat-free one just because I don't know if you've talked to your coach, but if you're over extended yourself a day or something, or if you're up past that three hour mark, you want to have an extra ounce of protein. And sometimes if we're watching a movie really late and I've already eaten my last fueling, I'm not going to get up and warm like one or two ounces of chicken. So being able to eat a slice of turkey to make sure you're keeping on plan and you're not putting your body in starvation mode is super important. 
okay? So that covers a bunch of the protein that we kind of keep so that we'll have. And another one is tuna. I get tuna all the time in the fish that you guys have seen in other videos. Now, let's get into some of the condiments that we have. Because, you know, I don't encourage condiments, but you can have three. And like I said, it's not just me in the household that's on the plan. So you got to kind of open it up to everyone else. So another thing that um, we keep is we do a lot of these. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the is G Hughes, the different sauces. They're sugar free. Now, these are not healthy fats. I mean, you can see this one's almost gone, but um, we just do, we kind of do these and we use a little bit here and there. This is the teriyaki sauce and then um, it's sugar free. And then we also have like a wing sauce and um, there's a Frank's hot sauce that you could use as well. But we just keep those condiments in the house, even like sugar free ketchup, sugar free syrup. I always have sugar free syrup or sugar free ketchup on hand because that's sort of things that I'm incorporating into our lifestyle because we actually like the taste of it. So you want to slowly incorporate that. And trust me, they will not even notice the difference between sugar-free ketchup and regular ketchup. Trust me, I've done it. And then so besides the condiments, we also have our healthy fats. So we keep the dressings on hand. So when you go grocery shopping, you want to make sure you get your dressings. You can get the light, the light ranch, the light Caesar, light thousand dollar dressings you just want to stay in that category with the light dressings like i've said before so that will cover the condiments now other things we have as well is like some of the things that are approved like coke zero my husband sorry i keep talking about him but he's on this kick of this sprite zero and i haven't gotten like okay i don't know if this is like okay on plan but i would assume it is because it's the same as the coke zero when i look at all of the um the things on the back but it's sugar free and he's like oh we could have sprite zero too so we keep that on hand just in case he wants something again you don't want to have those things all the time but it's nice just to have it in the house so that if you're tempted to grab something at least you're not grabbing a regular coke we don't even keep that in our house because I don't want him grabbing that and I don't want myself going after that. I don't really drink soda, but you want to make sure the things around your home are healthy because you can't yell at your kid for not picking up a healthy snack when they don't have healthy snacks around. So we want to surround ourselves with healthy things. So even when we're stuck in here, we don't want any excuses why we can't stay on plan. So the other thing I want to say is um, the pickle spears. You already know. We got to have the pickle spears. So we keep the pickle spears on hand. Guys, I want to know if you have any questions or what was your hardest part about grocery shopping? Leave it in the comments below, but that pretty much covers it. You need your protein, vegetables, condiments, and healthy fats. You keep those in your grocery list and you keep it simple and you should be okay. And you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.